Okay, so I just wanted to do like a little before pic like video so I can see what I look like at the beginning of the process. So this is me front on. I carry a lot of weight here, like all from my stomach, all down my um down my quads. Is that where I carry all of my weight? And it's mainly this is me, like this is me breathing out. This is me breathing normally. You can see like my stomach just pops out and it just doesn't look good. Also, I hate my arms. Bingo wings, deluxe. And I have quite a big bum, but I like my bum and I don't really want to lose that. Um, because, I mean, everyone wants the Kardashian bum now, don't they? Well, not the Kardashian bum, I feel like that's quite extreme, but people going and paying to have like bum lifts and stuff. And I've already got the junk in the trunk, so we don't want to lose that. Um, I find that when I start losing weight, it goes around my face first. I look hella ugly today because I've literally just got out of bed. <laughs> Does anyone else go to the gym like that? Oh, so that is my kind of before situation that needs to change. So I'm going to go to the gym now. I'm going to... I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to check in after. I don't know if I'm brave enough to take my camera in there. Maybe I'll just check in after. And because I don't think I'm going to do any weights today. I'm literally just going to do cardio. So I'll check in after and I'll let you know what I did. Okay, so let's see what the scales say. 13.5. my gym workout as you can see from my extremely red face oh my god this jelly bean is hanging right in the way let's get that out asap there's a man in the van in that white van next to me and i can know he's looking at me why is it that you choose the one space where there's someone that is in their car as well I'm like please as to car park so busy today what the hell anyway so just wanted to check in after my workout i wasn't brave enough to take my phone my camera in with me um i walked into the changing rooms and then just sussed out the gym area to see how many people there were there but there was like a group of girls and whatever and i was like oh i just don't have the confidence to do it so I left my camera in my bag, but I just wanted to tell you what I did today. At, um, 40, no, 35 minutes on the treadmill. And I did, uh, first of all, just 10 minutes walking on um, speed six. Uh, that was just whilst I was like going through my phone and finding my music and everything else. So I just did like a 10 minute warm up. Then I did 20 minutes. So that obviously took me up to half an hour on the, on the uh, treadmill so I did 20 minutes of two minutes walking staying on um speed six um then 30 seconds sprinting i started off sprinting on 10 then i went up to 11 then i went up to 11.5 then 12 and then 12.5 and then i finished my last sprint i finished on um 13 speed 13 then i obviously finished that at um half an hour and then I just did another five minutes walking because I could see that my calorie count was going up to it was at like 180 and I wanted to get it up to 200 calories burned so I just carried on walking until I'd burned 200 calories and that took me up to 35 minutes so that's what I did today I just wanted to get like a really quick cardio blasting so I've got so much to do today and I wanted to go to the gym I'm going to go on like an eight week plan from now um so i used to train with someone who i wish i could still have as my pt because he was just just like all round the best person i've ever trained with he inspired me and motivated me every single day and i'm absolutely gutted that i can't use him anymore but he's taught me a lot and i've taken away with me a lot from him 
in my food shopping as today and I am going to take my camera in and I am going to vlog and I don't care because quite frankly the average age in Asda today is probably around 75 so yeah no they probably will look and they probably will wonder what the hell I'm doing but girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do oh god there's car park dramas going on holiday at the beginning of May I haven't booked it yet but I'm gonna do an eight week plan where I eat well every single day and then on Sundays I have a three hour window to eat whatever I want, obviously within reason, but I'm going to stick to that and I'm going to treat Sundays as my treat day and I need to just get out of my head like, oh, on Friday night I can, you know, have whatever I want because it's the weekend and then I'll carry that on into Saturday and carry that on into Sunday and then Monday I'm like, oh, I might as well just have a bit of cake because, you know, I've eaten cake all weekend. So I really need to get out of the habit of that and think, no, if I'm going to have anything, it's going to be on Sunday and I'm going to resist everything else. So I'm now going to go to Asda. Off I go to Asda and you can follow me on my food shop and see what kind of food I'm going to buy today. See you in a bit. Okay, so this is what I've come back with from the food shop. Um, I have got some chicken, some lean uh, reduced fat, steak mince, some salmon. So my um, breakfast is gonna consist of some porridge with some berries and a coffee. And then my lunch is going to be either chicken cooked in herbs and spices with some sweet potato and some veg, which you can see I've got there. Or it's going to be chicken in a wholemeal pita with some salad. And my dinner will either be the mince cooked in either one of these sauces, tikka masala or buna with just some microwave rice and then for a snack i i'm gonna try not to snack in the evening but if i do then i'll just probably have some more fruit or actually i have these um oh i have two or three left 10 calorie jellies which are really good just to take that sweet kind of edge off um, and then I just got my sweet potato, some mushrooms, um, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. I got this gingerbread 
tea, green tea, just because I'm not a massive fan of green tea on its own. And I had this at a client's house a couple of weeks ago. I really liked it. Um, snack as well for the afternoon is caramel, two caramel snacker jack with some peanut butter on top. And then I also bought this Highlights 38 calorie hot chocolate as another evening like drink if I wanted something to kind of take that edge off because I love chocolate and hopefully that will kind of take the edge off the chocolate thing and then I just got some kitchen roll because the girls got to have kitchen roll some treats for the dogs some of this Radox Phil Glam shower gel and then some high strength it's like basically Varrock Baraka, Baruka. It's basically Baraka, but it's the Asda one. And then you're meant to take it with cod liver oil. So this is what I need to take the Amigas once a day. What else have we got in here? Charcoal capsules meant to help vitamin C, garlic. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep this food. I'm going to prep my chicken. I'm going to put this all away and I'm going to show you how I prep my food.